Hi everybody, welcome to episode one of our land speeder project. Going over some expectations of this project. It's totally beginner friendly. I'll do a lot of explaining. If you're not a beginner, I'll just speed up the video. And number two, there is no installation required. Yeah, all my videos, there's no installation because they're made for use in schools and students typically cannot install anything in schools. So let's get started. So what are we doing in this episode? First, we'll just cover the Canon JS basics, how the physics engine works with 3JS. And then we'll learn about the Canon Debugger. Canon Debugger is a useful tool for prototyping or developing your projects. And then we'll learn where to get the modules we need and import them into our program. All right, 3JS and Canon JS. Let's just look at the differences between them and how we can get them to work together. And then we'll bring in the Canon Debugger and see what that does. Okay. Canon JS looks after the physics aspect of the world and 3JS looks after the graphics aspect of the world. Canon JS does not render anything. It doesn't show things on the screen. 3JS's job is to show where the Canon JS objects are. And these objects are called a body for Canon JS and they are invisible. And for 3JS we call them a mesh and those are the visible objects. So how does this work? Basically, in Canon JS, we apply the forces, the physical forces, to the position and rotation of the bodies in that world. And then we take the position and rotation of those bodies and pass it into 3JS so 3JS knows where to draw the mesh objects. Okay, so we have to write code for Canon JS to manipulate the bodies in the physics world. And then we're going to pass the position and rotation information into 3GS so 3GS can draw the mesh objects. But when we are developing our projects, we can avoid a lot of work, a lot of coding, by eliminating the code for the 3GS mesh objects. Now, how is that? We're going to use the Canon Debugger. The Canon Debugger places a wireframe around the rigid bodies in the physics world. So we can see how these physics bodies act in the physics world without having to code the 3JS mesh objects, and that saves a lot of work. We just have to add a few lines of code for the Canon debugger to work, and it will show where these invisible bodies are located in the world and how they are acting. Okay, so let's see where these files are located and bring them into our program. The first thing we'll need is Canon JS, and if you Google Canon JS, you'll find two versions Canon.js and Canon ES.js. If we look at Canon JS, it has not been updated for quite some time. I mean, it's still a good program and it works, but it's an older version. If we look at Canon ES, it's been updated a couple of months ago and all its components are being constantly updated. Also, some of the commands have been updated. So we're going to use this more current version of Canon JS, Canon hyphen ES. So to get it, you can Google GitHub Canon hyphen ES. The link for this web page is in the description below. We want to go into the dist folder where it says build and you'll see three files. So we want this third one, Canon hyphen ES dot JS. If you click it, it will get you to the file. And if you click raw, this is the actual Canon hyphen ES dot JS file. So we're going to save it and put it into our code editor. So right click and hit save as and you'll see it save as type JavaScript file. That's what we want and the file name is already there. It's going to save it in my downloads folder. That's good enough. Just going to hit save and now I have it. Okay, now we're going to get the Canon ES debugger. So let's Google GitHub Canon ES and then debugger. There we go. It's this first one Canon ES debugger GitHub go into the dist folder again and again we have three versions we want the last version canon hyphen es hyphen debugger dot js this last one just click it and then click on raw that'll take us to the file and then right click and save as and it's going to save it as a javascript file and you can click save and here we go right on and we have that one so now we need 3js so i'm going to google mr doob GitHub 3JS. This is where the latest releases of 3JS are located. And here we go here, this first one, Mr. Doob 3JS GitHub. 
and again go into the build folder and there's different ones we're going to use 3.module.js if you're new to JavaScript JavaScript is moving toward modules so 3.module.js click on that and you can click download here's the file here right click and save as and it says JavaScript file 3.module.js I'm going to hit save there we go we're also going to get the orbit controls uh, just so we can move around the world and zoom in and out uh, just makes navigating our world easier. I'm just going to hit back arrow and back arrow again, back arrow again, and here is the main menu uh, github.com mrdube3.js. We're going to go into the examples folder and you'll see a bunch of folders. We want the JSM folder. The JSM folder is for modules. So click on that. And we want to go into controls because it's the orbit controls and we want orbitcontrols.js. Click on that and click on raw here and here's the orbitcontrols.js file. We're going to right click it again, hit save as. It's going to save it as a JavaScript file and hit save. There, we've got all the modules we need. Now let's open the code editor and import these modules into our code editor. So I'm just going to create a new folder called it modules so let's drag and drop the four modules into the modules folder. See how the modules are indented inside this folder? When I collapse the folder, they're gone. Now the modules are in the modules folder. So some of these modules work together. So one module will export something into another module. So we have to change the paths so that these modules can find each other. So starting with Canon ES Debugger, if you click it, it will open up here. And it says it's going to import these things from Canon ES. So we have to change this to where Canon ES is located in your modules folder. So I'm just going to change this to these two periods in a backslash, take it to the root directory, and then it's going into the modules folder and finding Canon ES here. So now this will work. And then it says import these things from three so we have to change this to the modules folder where three dot module dot js is located like this so now canon es debugger can find three dot module js and canon es js in the modules folder so if we look at canon es dot js this is good it's not looking for these things so we're okay Orbit controls we're going to have to change. See it says import. It's importing these things from 3. That's supposed to be 3.module.js. So we have to change that like that. Now orbit controls can find 3.module.js. And 3.module.js is okay. We don't need to change anything in there. So now these modules can find each other and communicate with each other. So I'm going to create a new file. I don't want it in the modules folder. There we go. I'm going to call it index.html and I'm going to hit shift one for the exclamation mark and that's going to give me the beginning of my HTML document and under title I'm just going to call this uh, land speeder project. Okay so after my title let's create a style sheet so I'm going to hit new file again. I'm going to call this style.css and I'm going to link it first in the head section of the HTML document. And under href or reference, I'm going to put style the file name. So style.css. And then close arrow. There we go. So now our style sheet is linked to our HTML document. Let's put a few things in there to make sure that our screen is full size. So under the body section. And we're going to make overflow hidden. This will make sure that the scroll bar on the side of the screen doesn't show up. So all our JavaScript code will be in the body section of the HTML document. So to do that, we need to write a script tag and the type will be module. So we're identifying these JavaScript files as modules. And because of that, we can use import statements. So to import 3.module.js, we can just put import asterisk as 3 from, and this is the path where 3.module.js is located in my code editor directory. And then we'll do the same for canon es.js. And now we'll import the canon debugger. And then we'll import orbit controls. 
So now our four modules are imported into our document right on. So in the next episode, we'll create our scene in our physics world, and we'll work with the Canon debugger to create some rigid bodies and visualize them.